Box plots are a nice visual summary of a dataset. This is what they look like. There is a box, and often there are lines called whiskers, as well as some of the data points. When there are whiskers present, these di diagrams are often called box and whisker plots. Box plots can be horizontal or vertical. Which is better depends on your application. Let's break down a few features of a box plot. The most important variable is the median, which is denoted by a line in the middle of the box. We've already covered the median. It's the data value which is in the middle of the data set. It's greater than 50% of the other data points. Next we have the ends of the box. The left end is set at the first quartile. This is the 25th percentile of the data, that is the value which is greater than 25% of the other data points. In the context of box plots, this is sometimes called the lower hinge. The upper hinge is equal to the third quartile, which is the 75th percentile of the data. These lines are called whiskers. The reach of the whiskers sometimes goes from the minimum data value to the maximum, but it is more often specified by a parameter. This parameter is usually a multiple of the so-called interquartile range. Interquartile range is just the width of the box, or Q3 minus Q1. We multiply this width by a factor W to get the length of the whiskers. Usually W is between 1 and 2, here it's set to 1.5. The end of the whiskers is sometimes called a fence. We often want to show very large or very small values, so-called outliers. To do this, we simply plot all of the points which lie outside the fence. Because we have covered most of the spread of the data within the fences, there should only be very few of these points. Although box plots show less information than a histogram, they can be very useful for rapidly assessing a dataset. For example, skew in a distribution can still be seen by looking at the position of the median inside the box. The outliers are also conveniently identified. Box plots also take up less space on a page and can be more intuitive to present to a non-technical audience than a histogram, so they can still be a good way of summarizing a dataset.